people, it's that time again. It's time for exam two. We're gonna make 100. We studied so hard, there's no way they're gonna get us on this exam, right? All right, so what's gonna be on exam two? What have we talked about? Let's go back to chapter four, okay? And the, fir the first thing we talked about in this kind of segment of the, of the course here for this exam two is equivalent system problems. Okay. If you'll remember, I call those system one, system two problems, or sometimes system three problems, right? Those can come as a force couple system, or they can come as a force only system. And remember, force only is when we did system three. Go back and review those videos if you forgot this stuff. There's one thing I want you to remember in this section, and this is very important, okay? And that is, do not set these problems to zero, okay? Because everything we did past this point, some of the force in the X was zero, some of the force in the Y was zero, some of the moments about it was zero. Not these problems, they're not zero, okay? So don't set them to zero. That's a big mistake I see people make. There are no reaction forces on these, okay? No reaction forces, okay? There are no reactions. Don't do that, okay? There's problem number one, okay? And all these that I'm going over, there'll be videos following with some examples of each one of these topics here. So um, as a review, okay, chapter five. Okay, again, if I want to break chapter five up, I can break it up into two parts, right? 2D reactions, and then 3D reactions. Okay, in 2D, I have the sum of the force in the X, and the sum of the force in the Y, and some of the moments about some point, right? To solve those problems. You gotta remember reaction forces like pin connections, roller connections, Fixed connections, smooth collars, right? All of those kind of things, okay? And then 3D reaction forces. Now this, now this you could use, you could use system solver because you have three equations. Down here, you got forces X, forces Y, forces Z, moments about the X, moments about the Y, and moments about the Z, right? So you can have here, Dun, dun, dun. six equations and six unknowns, okay? That would, be, that would be pretty evil to give you six equations, six unknowns on the exam because your calculator won't do a system solver for six unknowns. Um, and if you had to do the algebra for that, you'd be an hour on that one problem. So usually on these problems, there's usually five unknowns, which means that one of the equations gives you something, and then you can plug it into the other ones, and you can find everything pretty quick, okay? But again, watch the, uh, watch the example video on that. So there's, there's question number two and question number three, okay? And then finally, chapter six, which is trusses, frames, and machines, okay? And so out of trusses, frames, and machines, what are you gonna get? You're gonna get a trust problem. That's, that's for certain, okay? And what would I give you? I would give you one of those combo problems where you have to use a little method of sections and a little method of joints to solve that, right? So we remember about trust problems. And then of course, something like a frame slash machine problem. Okay, and we talked about these two virtually being exactly the same except this one has global equilibrium and that one really doesn't. So, but other than that, exactly the same. So there's problem number four, problem number five, right? So there's your exam, right? Problem, you got five questions. One, two, three, four, five. You know exactly what's going to be on there, okay? I'm going to give you some sample problems. The next five videos will be just kind of review videos, one from each topic like, like I would probably put on my test. And um, if you prepare that and you study that, dude, we should be ready to smoke this test. All right, see you next time.